This is where we left in the previous video. Now, let's show you a problem. You can see that we are just flying in the air. I just designed these two cubes to look like ramps. Anyway, but you can see, as soon as I climbed on them, I am currently floating in the air. But that's not what we want, so let's get the gravity. We'll start by making our move direction variable. Defining it so that every function everywhere in our class can be this move direction can be accessed by anything. So private vector three time move direction. Okay, and we'll just remove the vector three because we don't want to still define it down there. Now let's add a comment. So comment gravity and serialized field private. It's going to be private type float and it's going to be called our gravity multiplier <coughs> so multiplier oh just multiplier and then we just give it a header so header and we say gravity next we define a private private float and this is going to be called gravity equal to minus 9.81 f which is the gravitational force on earth and another private float this is basically going to be a private float for our velocity y so let me just define it um, yeah private float um, um velocity y yeah let's call it our velocity y okay so down and inside our functions we'll just add a function call this private void gravity gravity and we will open the two brackets and call it every update so let's see paste it and we will now have to apply some gravity so if basically we're going to do an if and the character control already has an embedded function called if basically it's a boolean and it's true if it's grounded and not true if it's not grounded and and velocity y is basically smaller than zero it's smaller than 0, 0.0 f which is a float okay so and what we're gonna do um, let me just do the move direction equal dot y equals our velocity y because we modified the velocity y up there and we wanted to change it down there velocity y equals minus one f if we get better results for doing this even though it's rounded so that the player can stay on the ground anyway so velocity y plus equals gravity multiplied by time the delta time and then finally our gravity multiplier and we'll just do a gravity multiply. You can just change this for better. You can make one even, but we'll just say this three for now. Okay, now if I hit the play button, um, if I hit the play button, we just look in there. Yeah, it's three. I can now have gravity is going to be always there for me when I'm in the air, so I can properly climb like realistic physics it's not like I'm flying in the air which is not what we want and you can see we are getting some good gravity awesome so that's it for this video and uh, in the next one we will get some jumping okay see you in the next one anyway these cubes you can make them yourself testing anyway and if you don't wanna you can manually just select the player object drag it above one of those boxes okay then i'm done with this video now